When I was booking my Land Cruiser, UAE showroom told me they'll deliver the car to me in December and they couldn't deliver because of the high demand. It was in 2021. Then uh, I had to book in Qatar and uh, they told me again in December but they couldn't deliver but after continuous follow-up, I got the car from uh, Qatar first, April 2022. So my uh, Land Cruiser is Qatar spec. That's the reason why I, when I did the review of the Land Cruisers in the UAE, I told the difference. Qatar edition comes with the sticker and it is higher spec than the UAE one in terms of off-road specifications. This has more off-road uh, specification compared to the UAE spec one. And uh, when you talk about the service contract, since I purchased this from Qatar, I took the service contract in Qatar. So service contract in uh, Qatar is uh, every 5,000 kilometers. I paid around 5,000 real for a zero to 40,000 kilometer service. When I was in UAE, I checked with Al Futem about the service contract. Uh, the UAE spec of cars, the service interval is every 10,000 kilometers. And I had to do my 35,000 kilometer service. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it in UAE because since my service interval was 35,000, the UAE was offering me 30,000 or 40,000. The service cost for the 30,000 service was 1,800 riyals and uh, the service cost for the 40,000 service was around 2,500 riyals just for one service. My whole contract for this car is only 5,000 riyal. So that's the reason why whenever I visit Qatar, I do my service uh, contract.